All right. Now, when I was growing up, the internet was still very much in its infancy. Being a kid at that time, I had no idea what the internet even was. What? The internet? Who the hell's the internet? It wasn't until one day I was in school in the computer lab, and I watched a kid bypass the firewall and look up cheat codes for the Sony PlayStation. Well, holy hell, after that, I was hooked. I mean, sure, it was dial-up back then, and it took 47 minutes to navigate three web pages, but I'll be damned, that kid unlocked Sweet Tooth on Twisted Metal 2. If that's what the internet had to offer, sign me up. So I start hoarding all those AOL trial CDs that they'd send you in the mail like some kind of maniac. I got 40,000 hours of free internet. Nothing can stop me now. But that didn't make a difference because our computer at home was old as hell. I mean, the thing was built when the fucking flock of seagulls were popular. Didn't have a web browser or Microsoft Paint or that sweet ass space cadet pinball game that everybody blew ass at. No, it's just a fucking DOS prompt screen blinking you in the face. Nobody in my whole household knows how to use the damn thing. Uh, how do I make the fun things pop up on the screen? Oh, I don't know. What the fuck do I look like? A scientist? I'm afraid of that goddamn thing. Turn it off. So for the most part, our computer was just stuck in the corner of our dining room, basically a piece of furniture at this point. Well, damn, looks like I don't get the internet after all. But that's all right, because my friend David had a computer, and unlike my flock of seagull piece of shit, his was made much more recently. Like, uh, like circa Lou Bega Mambo number no. five time. The trumpet. And what was even better is his ass had Roller Coaster Tycoon. And back then, Roller Coaster Tycoon was bigger than Bill Clinton. Everybody in the goddamn neighborhood would go over to David's house and play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Hell, David didn't even exist to us as a person back then. We'd all be hanging out in the front yard like, hey, wanna go over to Roller Coaster Tycoon's house? Oh, you bet your ass I do. Uh, hey, do you guys wanna go jump on the trampoline or something? No, piss off, we're drowning people in the lake and shooting people off the shuttle loop. But as great as Roller Coaster Tycoon was, it was a total game changer when David's mom got dial-up internet at his house. And I remember that weekend very vividly, because that was the weekend that me and Michael stayed the night at David's house and pirated a bunch of music off the internet. As soon as David's mom went to bed, David looked at us and was like, Have you guys ever heard of Napster.com? Napster.com? What the hell's that? What if I told you that we could have, in our possession, every Limp Biscuit and Weird Al Yankovic song known to man? Get the fuck out of here. Even the Nookie? Yes, even the Nookie. Oh my God. I can't fucking believe it. So our asses hop on David's blazing fast 96k modem. <laughs> Holy hell, why does your computer sound like fucking R2D2 having a stroke? Oh, that's just the sound the internet makes. What the hell is that? The Russians? Are the Russians attacking? Now our little asses stole so much music that night, Metallica to this day is probably still looking for a kid in a Scotty Pippen jersey to serve a subpoena to. And sure, it took 45 minutes for a single song to download, but that didn't keep us from downloading like every WWF entrance music known to man. The rock says, the rock says, what a glorious time it was. And I wish it would have stayed that way. But things decide to get a little weird when Michael decides to log into an AOL chat room. I know what you're thinking. What's the worst that could happen with a bunch of children talking to a bunch of random strangers on the internet at 3 in the morning? Well, let me tell you. First off, Michael does what any 8-year-old would do on the internet. He tells everybody that he's a 22-year-old woman. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go for it. I'm a 22-year-old big booty woman, and I'm looking for big booty bitches to talk to. Michael, what the fuck are you doing? I'm trying to talk to big booty bitches. What does it look like? I think it's safe to say that nobody was fooled in that chat room. I mean, for one, you got Michael's broken ass second grade spelling. And for two, we're under David's mom's screen name. And that math sure as hell doesn't add up. Boy, this butterfly kisses 1964 either sucks at math or is a fucking second grader. I guess I'll take my chances. So all of a sudden, we start getting instant messages left and right. David starts freaking out at this point. Dad, just turn it off. My mom's gonna kill us. No way, dude. I'm talking to big booty bitches. Look at this chick's trying to send me a picture right now. We look over, and sure as hell, there's a picture slowly loading. Y'all ready to see some big booty bitches or what? Well, finally, this picture loads. And it's safe to say it's not a big booty bitch. Instead, it's a grown-ass man licking a fucking egg beater. Ah, oh, sick! What the hell is that? Turn it off! Turn it off! Now, to this day, I have no idea who that guy was or what kind of fucking weird fetish he had with his kitchen. All I knew is that I was done with the internet for the night. Okay, that's enough of that shit. Uh, you want to go play Sony PlayStation? Yeah, let's go play Sony. PlayStation. And that was the end of it. Or at least that was the end of it for me and David. Michael, on the other hand, decided to keep on exploring the wondrous wonders of the World Wide Web. Who knows what the hell that eight-year-old was exposed to that night. All I know is the next morning, we're sitting there eating toaster strudels. Michael's over there looking like he just fucking stormed the beaches of Normandy. Do you guys know if it's possible to unsee things that you've already saw? I have so many questions and so few answers. Well, imagine our surprise when David's mom gets up and she sees a bunch of pop-ups littered all over a computer screen. Boys, get your asses in here right now. Why does my computer have AIDS all of a sudden? And who googled big booty bitches 47 times? Bro.
BrewStew.com.